Hello viewers and welcome back to Croatia's Calling with me, Ben the Sailor Man. I hope you're doing well. We are back today with a single game for the Croatia Cup final. And then obviously next episode after that will be the Croatia, the Champions League final, which I'm still baffled we're in. Um, so two games we've played since the Man City game, which was dramatic. Obviously, the 91st minute own goal from Laporte was really the seal on the cake. Um, absolutely fantastic performance from us, really. Um, unfortunately, Petkovic did obviously miss a penalty in that, which could have made it even worse, but doesn't make a difference. We still got through. But the two games we played since then, Slavin Balupo, 1-0. Um, we beat very, it's quite a tight game, really. Hirovic missed a penalty there as well. And then we beat Osijek 4-1 in that game. Uh, Rakitic and Ademi and Payet having very good games. Basically, I just rotated the sides um, and gave them the most amount of time I possibly could do. Uh, making sure that we didn't have any injuries for these two finals. So how that wraps up the league then. So the league finishes um, with Sibonet getting relegated. It was came down to the final day of the season. Lokomotiv had just scraped through. The second to last game of the season was Lokomotiv versus Sibonet and Lokomotiv won that one. Hence, they were one point behind before that and won it. So they went two points ahead. And I think Sibonet played Hajduk and Lokomotiv played Rijeka. So yeah, it was quite tough. So it definitely came down to that game between the two of them but we went and romped the league 95 points a record amount of um of points for us there uh Livakovic with 20 clean uh sheets um Marion with 14 assists Olmo of nine assists Petkovic literally taking everything player of the match um seven awards for him 25 goals in the league for Bruno Petkovic a 7.9 average rating let's have a look how many of our players I mean this is this just isn't fair, is it? I mean, you look at, say, the top 11, there's one player in the top 11 that isn't our player, and that's Pujic. And for some reason, they've decided, um, Reek have decided to go and transfer list him, which is an interesting one. But yeah, our players really, really pulling their weight this season in the league. Um, in terms of the second league, then, who's coming up? Obviously, we already know. Yeah, so obviously, um, the second team got won the league, um, and obviously, they can't get promoted. So Inter Zaporeski are the one who come up um, back up. I think they got relegated last year, if I'm not quite wrong. Or was it the first year? No. Rudes came out last year, were in the top flight last year and got relegated. It's Inter Zaporeski, who were in the first... Um, they got relegated in the first season. They're now back in the top flight. Um, hopefully, they can do some business. What's their best player like? He's not great, but he's not bad. Um, this guy, I mean, he's not even worth scouting, really, as you look at them stats. But anyway, into the match preview, into this final we go. Against Hajduk today, then, we should be winning this. I mean, we've lost three times against them. We've drawn three times. We've beaten them six times. I've already set up a team for today, then. It will be Livakovic, Sosa Kumar, Lovren make up the back line, or Stojanovic, Ademi and Moro just ahead of them, Marin on the left, Hirovic on the right, Olmo through the middle, sat behind Petkovic. You have a bench of Semper, Amione, Ait Nuri, Palacios, Almada, Magno, and Gilmaiden. Submit that team, then and get on into this. So the Hajduk team today then is quite a familiar one and not many players there that I don't recognise. Who's this Jurich guy without a face? I mean, he's not great really, is he? He's all right, but I probably wouldn't be signing him. He's probably one of their better players, but yeah, Cactus always seems to be their best player, played really well, but I mean, he's stat-wise, he's well, attribute-wise, he's not that great. But yeah, anyway, Pozovec's their best player. It's a keeper I have looked at bringing in, I won't lie to you. Um... Maybe shifting on Gerbich and bringing him in, but he's just going to be too much money, really. He's already on a big wage. Gerbich is on about a grand a week. There's no point changing them out. Um, I think if we were to sell Livakovic, he'd probably be the guy that I bought in. Um, you you deserve to win the title today, boys. I think there's a lot more to come from you. I think it's a bit unfair, the fact that even though it's counted as a neutral ground, it's our ground that's the neutral ground, so we're always at home when we play these. Um, it's a packed-out ground, that's fair to say. Um, it's the eternal derby in the Croatia Cup final. You can't really get much better than that, really. Um, but anyway, there's a highlight five minutes in. Stojanovic with a long th uh, throw down this right-hand side for Olmo to run onto. And he's tackled and straight to the spot. Hirovic is going to be one to step up for this then. Can he convert from the spot to make it 1-0 within six minutes? Hirovic steps up then. Is he going to do it? Yes, he is. Hirovic 1-0 early on. Very, very nice start to the game. Very happy. Is it Hirovic? He's a player that really, if you look at his attributes and his star rating, he's one of the worst players in the squad. We've got a lot of better wingers, but he's one of the originals and he still scores. So there's just no point in me getting rid of him. And the amount of money I'd get for him, you look at his, well, we probably get about 6 million, I reckon, but I just don't want to sell him. I find him really, really good. A good little player to have around the squad, a good 
bit of experience experience head around so i think harovic will be staying um there's one player that i am looking at selling um you haven't seen him much i regret buying him because we had so many strikers as it was but um raniel the guy we bought him from um in from the brazilian leagues as a backup striker the problem was is i've got so many foreign players that are really good young players i don't want to have to give my backup striker role to um as a foreign slot when we've got Gil Maiden, who's really good. So, oh, Bruno Petkovic is offside. So I don't, I think um, Raniel, we're going to try and make as much money as we can. If we get even 3 million back for him, I'd be quite happy with that. But yeah, I just don't see the need. I kind of regret signing him. It's the one player I do regret signing this save. But anyway, there's a uh, free kick. Hirovich is there. Eduk cl uh, heads clear. Only as far as Cactus, but it's a poor pass out. Kamar can pick that up. Back to Lovren. Stoyanovic down this right-hand side then. He's going back to Lovren now. Back out to Kamara on this right-hand side. We've got both the centre-backs forward, which is very interesting. Lovren, great through ball out wide. Hirovic inside. Petkovic is there and smashes it at the keeper. But he was offside anyway once again. 22 minutes gone then. It were playing pretty well. Stoyanovic now. Morrow back inside to Stoyanovic. Olmo picks this one up. A cross out wide to Souza on the left-hand side. Smashes that one. It's 2-0. Borna Sosa of his second of the season in a time where it mattered with his second. He's absolutely, I, I love Borna Sosa. He's probably one of my favorite signings, um, but I wasn't expecting to be this good. Obviously, I bought him back because he was a Dynamo um, youth um, academy graduate, but I never expected him to be this good. You look at his stats, for example, he's a really nice left back. I'm really happy with how he's developed. Um, I definitely might be giving it, well, I assume I'll be giving him a new deal. He's at 71 caps, two goals um this <clears throat> this for he for dynamo in the league so yeah he's been a, he's been a stalwart really at left back the only person who's really come close is when we're rotating when we were playing night nuri there and then um started moving bracalo out there instead to give him some game time Olmo coming forward now then Olmo shoots Pozovec saves to his left then 27 minutes gone there's been another highlight i mean they've had one shot one on target all game it's really been poor from Hadrick so far but we've got a ball out wide Lovren can't get it in and there's going to be gyro down this left hand side then can we get out to them stop the ball from coming in gyro Morrow, great tackle there stopping that ball that i was talking about harovic now have a free kick just outside the box shoots and scores that is a beautiful free kick from harovic this is what i mean about harovic he is just that little the guy you don't expect to be as good as he is but is it Hirovic? Always pops up when it matters most. You can see here, great free kick over top. Pozovec probably should be doing better, let's be honest. But 32 minutes in there, we're already 3-0 up, which is absolutely fantastic. It's looking likely then we're going to be the double three years in a row with a chance of obviously the triple with the Champions League final coming up as well, which will be interesting. Stojanovic, Hirovic now. Back to Stojanovic. Back out to Hirovic then. Morrow's there. Can we get another goal? Olmo with Sosa back on this overlap again. It's very close. Pozovec just tips that one wide. 35 minutes in then. We are absolutely dominant this game. Hyrich now to put another ball in. Obviously, last time we met um, Hajduk was in the league and we beat them 7-1. Um, at this rate, it wouldn't surprise me if it was a similar scoreline again. But Hyrich can't get that one in. It's going to be corner once again on this right-hand side. Can we make anything from this? Hyrich now steps up. Ball in. Simic clears that. Lovren back out to Hyrich now then. A crossfield ball at Zemi, but he's... Unfortunately, Hirovich is offside. Nothing will come from that. Let's, passion, let's praise these boys at this point. They've done pretty well so far. I'm very happy. They're all fired up by the praise, which is good. Um, Hirovich may come off in the second half. Looking at his fitness, he's not quite up to the level of the rest of them. So he may be the first player that comes off, even though he's having a great game. But he's already at about 75% conditioning, which is not particularly what you want from a winger. Gyro, Morrow gets, in, gets into him, goes forward. Simic hit, cuts that one out. Juranovic. Still coming forward. A great ball out wide to Edjuk. This may be the time they can actually come back into it. To Casasolo in Livakovic makes an easy save from that one. And where are we going to go from this then? Up towards Hirovic. It seems to really be the pinnacle of all these attacks, really. Hirovic out wide to Marin, who heads on to Petkovic. That would have been a beautiful goal. Unfortunately, Pozovec gets down to that. Keeps really any chance of Hadjuk being in this game. Uh, let's passionately tell these boys, I'm very pleased with your performance, lads. Keep it going. Let's keep it up. I mean, it's a pretty packed up ground today. Most of the fans obviously are ours. 27,000. It says away, but obviously there are fans at their own home ground. But yeah, 27,000 of our fans and what, 13,000 of the Hadrick fans? So yeah, it's um, equal, definitely equal um, <laughs> on the ticket um, allegation, uh, allegations. 
Uh, you know what I mean. Anyway, we were going to talk. We were talking about bringing off Hirovich. I think we're going to do that now. Is Magno's going to step out onto this right hand side? I think we might make two other changes as well. Palacios is going to come on in the middle for Morrow, and I think Almada is going to come on for Mo for Olmo, um, just to really freshen things up. There's no real need to change anything, but I mean we're already this far ahead. Let's get some fitness just to make sure that they're ready for the Champions League final. 15 minutes left then, just fingers crossed. I was about to say no one gets injured. Stoyanovic's injured. He's not the worst. If I knew he had been injured, I'd have been a little bit worried. But we can still... But we can, we're all right, I think. I, I, Nuri's shown really good promise in that right-back role this season. I'm really happy with how he's developed. Um, will probably be the starting right-back. Maybe not this year, next year. But will be the season after. I think that might be when we sell Stoyanovic as... I can't even bring Stoyanovic off. He's unfortunately going to have to stay out there with a the potential foot injury. But, I mean... With three minutes left, mate, you could sit off. With, with three goals up, you could literally sit off the pitch. I really wouldn't be that fussed if you needed to, mate. Um, 93 minutes has been and gone then. There you go. For a third season in a row then, we then completely dominate Croatia, as you'd expect. 3-0 winners. Passionately go into the dressing room. Passionately go into the dressing room? No one passionately goes into the dressing room. Well, passionately tell the boys, though, congratulations, enjoy these moments, you deserve it. End the first half team talk. Continue on forward then. And yeah, it's just the big one next then. The biggest game of in club football, really. So we've done the double. We lift the Croatia Cup uh, once again. Stojanovic is unfortunately going to miss the game, um, the Champions League final. We're going to attend this press conference. Passionately say, I love this competition. It always excites me. So yes, you could say that. With the team we have here, there's nobody saying we could stand in the way. Um... I don't see it's getting one over thing. I think the squad is capable of going on becoming a real force. It's brilliant. I'm so thoroughly delighted. I'm absolutely delighted. Leverkovic is a top quality goalkeeper. Um, ah, I wouldn't want him to be. Um, it was a fabulous strike. He did do well, but obviously he was a little bit low on conditioning. Um, I think he did make the correct call. I think they're entitled to play however they want. Of course, it won't be acceptable. Uh, what's this? Sure, there will come a point when the line has to be drawn. Oh, sure. <laughs> I'm not fussed about the fact we accidentally got an injury. So the medals for the cup final win. Unfortunately, Martin Prassel, who are you? That was the game. It must have been the game. I don't even remember playing him. <laughs> I don't even remember playing him. Adzik, I don't even remember playing you. That says a lot when you don't remember playing people. I remember playing Bayaz, obviously. Raniel got a few. He got two goals in five appearances. Um, is that all competitions? So in total, yeah, he got two goals in five games. It's not really, it's all right, but it's not fantastic. So the Dynamo board are pleased with that. Hirovich was on form. Praise Hirovich for his performance. Um, and yeah, obviously the biggest overachievers were Nugo. I'm not going to pretend to say that, but they got into the, the semi final, which is crazy. Locomotive have been really poor this season, let's be honest. Um, really not performing very well at all. I'd expect a lot more from them, but they just didn't really turn up to the books in any competition, really. But, um, yeah, so what we'll do then is the next time we shall meet will be the biggest game you could imagine. Um, Napoli in the Champions League final. We've already qualified for the, the Club World Cup, but if we look at that sec uh, quickly, actually, the Club World Cup is not scheduled until... Sunday the 18th of May 2025 but it's a yearly competition so I think that's wrong um I think regardless of if this because if we win the Champions League it probably will be the last season but we'll then do like a special the club world uh championship I think that's probably what we'll do um but yeah we'll see how that goes I think it might be down to finishing off the Champions League but yeah so what we'll do then is I'm gonna quickly rest the boys before I forget but um we shall meet again for the big one which is Still baffles me how we ever got here in the first place. But yeah, I hope you have liked this video. If you could like and subscribe, it massively, massively helps out the channel. And I'll be greatly, greatly appreciative of any support you do give me. Um, both on here and over on Twitch as well. On twitch.tv forward slash Ben the Sailor Man. Um, and my other social links as well. 
down in the description as well as also a link to the passion for fm discord and the passion for fm website which i am a massive well not a massive part of i am one of the part of the stream team and youtube team i'm very very happy to be part of that they're a great bunch of guys and really really good informative content because i can tell you full, full well that i'm not that good at that informative content and considering that's what we're going into soon i need to up my game on that for, for, for sure but anyway once again thank you very much for joining me i shall see you for the big one Till next time, peace.